Hey guys, it's Kevin from KevCon. I'm here to show you guys how to change the FOV or field of view in Fallout 4. So many of you that played Skyrim know Bethesda um, does not add this stuff in their settings, so you have to do it manually. But it's a it's a little more involved for Fallout 4, uh, just because you have to add it to two more files. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is go into my documents go to my games fallout 4 and your open up your fallout 4.ini file and what you're going to do is copy and paste the code from the description and add it to the display category in the notepad um, I'm putting 90 here because that's the um, typical FOV for an FPS game and make sure you file and save. Close that out. Then you open up Fallout 4 prefs.ini and you're going to copy and paste that code again under the display category. So I'm just showing me pasting over what I already have. Mine's already in there but for you it will not be. You just copy and paste that in there and make sure you save it so lastly we need to go into our steam folder that's typically in your C drive program files so steam steam apps common fallout 4 fallout 4 again and then you're going to open up fallout 4 prefs.ini same deal again you're going to copy and paste that code under the display category and file save and close it out and that's all there is to it um, like I said 90 is the typical FOV for an FPS game um, but you can test around and mess with those numbers to see what you like. For some reason Bethesda was using 70 and 80 which um, really doesn't give you a wide range of view. So a lot of people have noticed that um, 90 for this game is a lot better and that's why this fix is pretty helpful. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I'm going to be coming out with some more tweak videos and tutorials for Fallout um, pretty shortly. So thank you guys for watching. And basically it allows you to mess around with your build and test different ones um, without having to do the whole intro to the game. So importing the save file.